Hey friends, it's your boy, Big TCG Fan, coming at you with another video. And today, we are going to go to one of the big boys of TCGs. One of the most popular fields for themes in designing a trading card game are animes. And the biggest of the big animes is Yu-Gi-Oh! Confession time. I know virtually nothing about this game. I actually didn't really like the, the card size when it first came out, and so I just didn't touch it. Um, I bought a starter deck to give it a go, just to kind of check it out. Uh, this starter deck right here, Order of the Spellcasters. And I have to admit, it's very different than any other game that I've seen. So what we're going to be opening up here is the Speed Duel Scars of the ba Scars of Battle. Um, really unusual. They only have four cards per pack, and there are 36 packs in there. It should be a lot of fun. Now, as far as the patching goes, pretty solid. You know, it's a cardboard. Obviously, you're not going to be throwing this thing around, but be fun. Yu-Gi-Oh! This game's been out for a while. You know, a long time. It's like one of the earlier games to come out that was successful. I think this game's right behind Pokemon as far as it's like Magic and Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! as far as popularity goes. But this is I think this is a special release which is why you get 36 packs. Four cards per pack. I'm not so sure we're going to be able to build a deck or two with this, but we'll see. You know, I'll check it out and see what happens. Yeah, it's pretty standard. Four cards in every pack is not standard, though. I think that's just for these special releases. And what we got right here first, uh, I'm going to give you guys is BAM. Uh, that's the um, cards of value. All right, Spellbinding Circle. So this, this game has multiple zones, Fighting Spirit, Launching Spider. Oh, look at that. Barrel Dragon. That's actually one of the cards on the top 10 list. A solid start, and it's foily. Now with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! As far as uh, the packaging goes, this is solid, standard packaging. You know, and you're not going to see any issues with it. The great part is if it's a little more to be fraudulent with it, you'd be able to tell pretty quickly. So, pretty cool. Um, we'll go ahead and give it a 9 for the packaging. Next, spell card. So spells, creatures, and traps are the, the main categories. What the? That's a, that was easy on the artist, huh? <laughs> major upset. Trap. So look at that. We got the three major card types. And they have multiple zones for this game, which is fascinating. When I was reading up on this, uh, on it, to me, the most fascinating thing was the um, apparently upper deck. Oh, look at that. That's cool looking. Upper deck had actually um, been fraudulently printing the cards, supposedly. No, I'm not saying they were. What's this? Huh. Oh, look at that. Double. Oh, that's one of the cards that's on the list. Okay, I don't know what this is all about. Skill card. Okay. Can't wait to learn about that. But um, so there was a big lawsuit between Konami and and Upper Deck, which ended up being won by Konami. And Upper Deck ended up having to pull all their cards off the stock. I wonder if those cards hold any value. It'd be fascinating to look into. Fire Reaper slot machine. So. It's a lot easier to go through these when you only have four cards in a pack. But they make up for it by having a lot of packs. Fighting Spirit, Pendulum Machine, Fire Reaper. Now, the thing about these, the thing about Yu-Gi-Oh! that really bugged me is, is the framing and the, and the cards. Now, I don't know if you can tell, let me grab a Pokemon card. But it's somewhat narrower and about the same height, but it's somewhat narrower than 
regular card stock. And Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, the majority of card games. That's the majority. And on top of it, and you can see this, the frame is quite big. Let me show you the Pokemon card here. Yeah. You can see it's and it, the frame. It holds a good amount here compared to Pokemon, but with the card being so small, it's just you know, really hard. And I can't speak obviously the game's meant for younger players, but the small font it's so small, it's harder to read. Oh, there's one of the there's one of the big cards. I think this is the uh number one car, it's a nine dollar car. Nice. We're off to a solid start here. Man, I don't intend on selling them, but you never know. I don't know how that work with my starter deck, because I do like to I would like to make decks, but the starter decks are usually pretty solid. That was one thing that I was looking into is a Exodia, I guess it's called. It's the name of a major deck type. And it's a bunch of creatures, and if you put them in order in a certain order in your play area, then you just automatically win the game. And um, I've always loved those kinds of win cons where it's just, oh, if I do this, I win. I thought it makes for interesting. And it's not the only one. There's a couple of others I saw that were a couple of other strategies. Now, what makes this game different than games like Magic the Gathering and Pokemon? You now with Magic, you know, you play your land and <coughs> you use it as a resource. And po Pokemon, you know, you have your energy resources that you'll play on your Pokemon for them to really be able to do anything. This game kind of goes about it a little differently as far as, you know, you, you play certain, like, I guess four or less creatures and you can use those guys to summon out other creatures. You got your spells and then your trap cards, which leave cards that you can be played in when certain conditions are met. So, it's pretty cool. It's definitely different. I can't wait to try it merely because I've never played a game like it. So instead of breaking this one up into multiple videos, we're just going to go through the whole... It still amuses me. It's, I mean, there's a pattern there. You can kind of see it. But it's definitely different. Now the art, I really like the art overall. It's good. Really good. I just wish it were bigger. Um, some of them I've seen were just straight pretty. You know, and oh, there's another one that's, I think that's the number two card, actually. So we're doing okay, we're doing okay. The art, uh, I mean, it is an anime style, and I'm not seeing much with these cards. It's really screaming out at me. So I'm going to give them, that's cool, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna give the art a uh, seven and a half. You know, there were, I don't know, just you know, like I said, a lot of that's oh, that's cool. A mask of darkness. I got the font is gold. Very cool. You get a couple of them. It's black. That one's gold. So you'll, get, you'll see it once in a while. Card quality. Yeah, this is a. Uh, you know, they're very flimsy. Concern with these, the ends are pointed, which makes them more likely to be bent. Um, it's a card quality. We're going to give that a six and a half. As far as gameplay goes, at some point, I'll definitely be playing this game. Hopefully, sometime soon. I have to order some sleeves so I can sleeve up the deck. Yeah. I have custom sleeves for my normal size cards because not so much for these ones. So okay, we didn't want to open normally, huh? Always having fun. Sometimes. 
cracking packs is the, probably the best part. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. Badass axe. Yeah, cracking packs is probably one of the best parts about playing the game. About TCGs in general, especially when you know what the value cards are. You don't get that as much. With games like the last game that I reviewed, which was called Ultimate Combat Air, there's virtually nothing of value because you pay 20 bucks or 15 bucks for the whole whole kit and caboodle. You know, on this box right here, I only paid, what was it? I think 19.99 or something like that. I almost made that back in value of the cards that I got pulled, which is cool. All right, so that's all of them. You know, like I said, it's not a lot. I'm not so sure I can make two decks out. I mean, I technically could, but I'm not so sure how good they would be. Probably would be complete wreck. That may be something I'll think about maybe doing it if I can do a little more looking at it. But that was a lot of fun. You know, we got to see some of the cool cards from Yu-Gi-Oh. I'll definitely be looking into pulling some more out, you know, as far as as the game goes uh, it's back I mean it's a standard back that they know about but interesting <laughs> so this this brings us to the end of my video and we went ahead and looked at Yu-Gi-Oh speed duel it was a lot of fun there were some cool little cards in there um, make sure that you like subscribe comment down below and if you can share the video peace out